This flute is droning in the low mid frequencies. I'd rather change that. With a glance on the internal analyzer, you quickly see what to do. Now listen to the melody and look at the frequency curve. The droning frequencies can only be here. There is nothing else. And what the analyzer doesn't show can't drone. So I simply reduce 600 Hz and thereby solve the problem. Now listen to both versions. I have chosen a Q-factor that correlates with the frequency response. In general, processings with wider Q-factors sound more musical and less contorted. Precisely removing those annoying low mid frequencies results in a sound with, in relation, more low and high end. The flute sounds more open and present and keeps a balanced level over a wider frequency range. Of course, bothersome frequencies cannot always be found so easily as in this example. Nonetheless, referring to the peaks of the analyzer curve when reducing frequencies is generally a reasonable approach. This is the more complex frequency curve of a piano track. With this curve at hand, where would you assume a drone and where a high mid-resonance? Exactly. Here and there. Where else? Just give it a try in your productions. I use this technique every day and so save a lot of time. With the Hofer IQ analyzer, it's even simpler. You can drag and drop sound files directly into the analyzer. If you're working with Cubase, you can actually do that directly out of the project window. You don't have to play the whole track. Another time saving. And the IQ analyzer also shows reference curves and highly descriptive energy curves, but that is another matter.